What's up everybody, this is Jason from EO7 Media and today we're doing an interview on site. So let me show you around real quick. Here is our main camera, which we like to call the A-cam. This is gonna be the majority of the footage is gonna be from this. And we use a long lens because we want it to look like kind of a crushed background. It's gonna look more intimate and it's gonna look more like, uh, you actually want to hear the person talking to you and what, what they're saying. So while we're running this, we're also running the Atmos, which is a backup drive. So we're running two cards inside, but we're backup too because we don't want the chance to be able to lose anything. So we're going overly abundant with data, but just to make sure we do this. Over here, we have a monitor set up for the second camera so I don't have to keep getting up and making sure everything's in focus. The B cam's over here getting a 45 degree angle, and this is to make sure that I can cut back and forth between the interviews so that they can mess up, they can say the, mm, uh, I can cut that out and just cut to a different angle and it looks flawless. We are using a three camera setup and not the traditional three camera setup. This is called a China ball on an Aperture 60X. This is a china ball, this is a very soft light, it's very appealing, it makes the skin, uh, the light roll off on the skin a little bit easier. Yeah, we'll Over here we have the IntelliTech light cloth and this is like a really strong light uh, that uh, makes the skin look really good, makes the presenter look really good, but it also has a lot of control because you have the egg crate and the diffusion. Here we have the boom pole with a Deity Mic 2 boom mic. And this is hands down my favorite boom mic. The audio is just so crisp and clean. And that's hooked up over there to a C stand, which is hooked up to the Mix Pre 3 audio recorder, which has float 32 bit audio. And that's making sure, so no matter if they go high or low, like if, if someone starts screaming, we can still bring that audio back and it's nice and clean. But here's really what I kind of wanted to show you over here. And this is something we don't normally do with a lot of interviews. This is called a negative fill. And a negative fill allows for a couple things. One, it allows for light spillage to be controlled. So there's no bounce off the wall or this TV right here. We're allowing it to control the light to make the interviewee look really, really clean and having a little bit of shadow on one side of the face. Typically, to make it feel more of like a cinematic type feel, you want to have the shadow toward the camera. So this is the negative fill, and really this isn't anything special. You're supposed to use duvetine or something that really eats light. So I use blackout cloth. And this is actually from our house, from my bedroom. We updated, we got new curtains, so these are my old blackout cloths. Uh, and it works great, it's on one C stand right here. Uh, Nathan, who's on the camera right now, uh, rigged this up made sure it was really nice and tight up here with some gaff tape. It looks really good. It hasn't moved all day. I'm super, super happy. Uh, the last thing we have over here is a hair light. And obviously, if you know a lot of video, you probably know hair light. But if you're kind of new to this, this is the light that most people kind of take for granted and they don't really think it through. A hair light is going to pop the person out of the background and it literally makes them look more alive and more aware and awake and it just pops them out of the background because the background we're kind of blowing out making it look all gloomy and blurry but this light right here is going to nice add a nice little hair light right here and a little rim light to the shoulders it really kind of makes it look more presentable and this is going to like up your game quality wise tenfold and it's just one little light you don't want a lot of it and you typically don't want to diffuse it. You want it to be a little harsh, a little sharp on the edge. So this is the, the interview. And as you can see from everywhere, we have cables and plugs and tape and everything. So it looks ugly looking this way, but it'll look good in the camera. Let's go.